the planetary scale terrain data set render that I've been working on here at EBL. Um, the data set that you're looking at is the familiar Blue Marble Next Generation data set. It's um, 86,400 by 43,200 uh, pixels. Uh, accompanying that is the SRTM data set, a height map, a 16 bit height map at that same resolution. And what this thing does, of course, is pages this data in dynamically. Let's see it as I zoom in here. Now what it's actually doing here is uh, not just drawing geometry, but also drawing um, sort of a per pixel illumination. We've got the normal of the surface at every point, and we can use this to give the impression of a great amount of detail when in fact there are very few polygons on the screen. In total, the data set is uh, tiled into 512 by 512 chunks. Uh, grand total, there are 57,000 of them, and they are paged in from disk as needed. The goal here is uh, photorealism, as you can see. That's why the per pixel illumination becomes important. And also the atmosphere. It's got a nice blue earth atmosphere. Uh, that's called O'Neill's algorithm. It's popular in real-time circles. Now, as we move in, we can see that this uh, sort of fake geometry, this normal map geometry, becomes replaced by real geometry and the mountains are in fact real. Let me find a nice mountain somewhere nearby here. Uh, how about Mount Rainier? Let me zoom in, pops into place, and we can see it's actually there. Now one of the nice things about this software is that it, uh, it doesn't just handle full planet cylindrically projected data sets, but you can overlay subsets, high resolution data here and there, and they don't need to be cylindrically projected. They can be orthogonal or polar projected. So say you have, um, say you want to look at the North Pole, that's always a problem for apps such as Google Earth, for example, where uh, what we can actually do is uh, overlay polar data undistorted at the poles. That's pretty important. Now what you're seeing here, this is running at 2560 by 1600 on, this, uh, on a workstation PC. It's a GeForce 8000. Uh, but this runs on Windows. Uh, Macintosh and Linux. It's also cluster ready and it has several stereo modes available to it, including barrier and um, passive stereo. Mode. 